Primary Children, and welcome back to another episode of Primary Singing Time, our last one for 2020. What an amazing year it's been. Let's start with I Am a Child of God. to our 13th article of faith, the last article of faith. We believe in being honest, true, chaste, benevolent, virtuous, and in doing good to all men. Indeed, we may say that we follow the admonition of Paul. We believe all things. We hope all things. We have endured many things and hope to be able to endure all things if there is anything virtuous, lovely, of good report or praiseworthy, we seek after these things. Let's sing. learned all 13 articles of faith. Good job. Last week we talked about, can you guess, do you remember? Christmas angels. Okay, these aren't real angel wings because angels don't actually have wings like this. These are costume wings, but they remind us of angels. But the reason we always see pictures of angels wearing wings is because it's a symbol of how they can travel through time and space to go and bring messengers from God to the people on the earth. Angels are messengers from God. And Christmas angels bring a special message. Do you remember what the special message is of Christmas angels? They bring tidings of great joy about Jesus Christ. Let's sing the song, Angels We Have Heard on High. mean Gloria in excelsis Deo that's the like the language of Latin and it's a way of saying in the most high God Gloria to the most high God isn't that beautiful angels are messengers of God 
and they bring messages about Jesus Christ. And today we're going to talk about the last angel of the Book of Mormon. Do you know who that is? I'm going to give you some clues. Here's clue number one. His father was Mormon who put most of the Book of Mormon together and gave it its name. Okay, that's clue number one. Any guesses yet? Okay, here's clue number two. Nowadays, we have statues that honor him on some of our temples. Do you have a guess now of who the last angel of the Book of Mormon was? Did you guess Moroni? Good job. After adding some of his own writings to the gold plates and copying records from the people of the Book of Ether, he gave us the sacrament prayers and copies of some of the writings of his father, Mormon, and then he finished the Nephite record on the gold plates with a challenge to us nowadays. This is what Moroni said, the last angel of the Book of Mormon. Here's what he said while he was still a human and writing. He said, and when ye shall receive these things, when ye shall receive these things, the Book of Mormon, I would exhort you, that's a challenge, I would exhort you that ye would ask God, the Eternal Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, if these things are not true. And if ye shall ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, having faith in Jesus Christ, he will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, ye may know the truth of all things. Did you hear what I think is the most important part of his challenge to you? You have to have a sincere heart that means you really want to find out the answer with real intent means you're really trying having faith in Jesus Christ you have to believe in Jesus Christ or you will not believe in this book if you believe in Jesus Christ then you will be able to find out that this book is true because who is this book about Jesus Christ that's right so what things are true he says you can know that you can find out if these things are true what things all of the things in the Book of Mormon, the history and the stories and the gospel messages, it's all true. And Moroni knew that it was true because it was the record of his own people. He lived some of it himself. Let's look at some of the things that we've learned this year that are true in the Book of Mormon. We learned that the prophet Lehi had a vision of the tree of life. And he led his people to a promised land where his descendants would be visited by the resurrected Jesus Christ. Let's sing the song, The Tree of Life. And I think you all can do actions for this whole song now. Are you ready? The prophet Lehi had a vision of the tree of life. He saw it shining in the darkness, so beautiful and bright. The sweetest fruit he'd ever tasted, and bright as light could be. It filled his soul with joy and gladness. He beckoned to his family, come to the tree of life, partake of the fruit. I is just a symbol of the love of God. The pathway there is straight and narrow, so hold on to the rock. His words will guide us through the darkness and past the mist of gray. The enemies of God may mock us, but we will boldly stand and say, come to the tree of life. the tree. 
greatest place in all the world to be. Is that the tree? What was the tree of life? It was the love of God. The greatest place in all the world to be is at the love of God and to have the love of Jesus Christ in our hearts. What things are true? King Benjamin, who prophesied of Jesus Christ and his coming and who taught his people that when we are in the service of our fellow men, we are only in the service of our God. Let's sing, I will walk with Jesus, as King Benjamin taught his people to do. Actually, we can do this. Jesus walked in wisdom. Jesus grew in truth. He showed love to God and man while in his youth. Jesus wants to guide me. Jesus shows the way, calling me to come and walk with him each day. As I walk with Jesus to my home above, he will bless me with his spirit. Book of Mormon, Alma, and the sons of Mosiah, and the people of Ammon, who repented of their rebellions and their sins, and then taught others to follow Jesus Christ. That's true. Let's sing, I'll follow him in faith. The Lord has blessed me with gospel truth. I have learned his ways in my early youth. I will share his life, for I know it's right to testify of him. The Lord has blessed me with simple faith. If I pray for help, he will give me strength. I will do his work. I will gladly serve. I'll follow him in faith. Let's sing that song. Let's try our actions with it. The Lord has blessed me with his whole truth. I have to start it again. You know what? Sorry. I just went straight to the second verse. We don't want to do that. Let's do it the right way first. The Lord has blessed me with gospel truth. Okay. The Lord has blessed me with gospel truth. I have learned his ways in my early youth. I will share my light, for I know it's right to testify of him. The Lord has blessed me with sinful faith. If I pray for help, he will give me strength. I will do his work, I will gladly serve. I'll follow him in faith. What things are true in the Book of Mormon? Jesus appearing after his resurrection to the Nephites, teaching them his gospel because all the world needs the gospel, and blessing their children and angels ministered to their children. And for 200 years, there was peace in the land because they followed Jesus Christ. Let's sing the song, I Know That My Savior Loves Me. A long time ago in a beautiful place, children were gathered round Jesus. He blessed and taught as they felt of his love. Each saw the tears on his face. The love that he felt for his little ones, I know he feels for me. I did not touch. 
touch him or sit on his knee, yet Jesus is real to me. are true in the Book of Mormon. When Moroni finished his record, he buried the gold plates in the earth to protect them until the Lord would bring them forth again. All of the stories on the gold plates he knew the Lord would bring forth again. Let's sing the song, The Golden Plates. was the last angel of the Book of Mormon, but so far, those are all stories he wrote in the book when he wasn't dead yet. He was living on the earth, and then he buried those plates in the ground. But do you know what happened about 1,500 years later? Moroni appeared as an angel to Joseph Smith. It was Moroni as an angel, a messenger of God, who appeared to Joseph Smith to tell him where to find the gold plates. How did the prophet angel, how did the prophet Moroni, who's now the angel Moroni, how did he know where to find the gold plates? Yeah, because he was the one who buried them down in the earth. Do you think maybe he had been watching over them all those many, many centuries until the time had come for them to come forth? Because Moroni was the one who buried them in the earth. He knew where they were hidden. And so it was his job as an angel, as a messenger of God, to go and tell Joseph Smith where to find those plates. I think Moroni must have been so excited. After all the time he spent living his life and finishing the Book of Mormon and burying it deep in the earth to keep her protected, now the time had come for him to show a young boy, Joseph Smith, where to find those gold plates. Moroni was the last angel of the Book of Mormon, bringing tidings of great joy. Because the Book of Mormon tells of Jesus Christ. Let's sing the song, The Book of Mormon Tells of Christ.
The Savior visited their land. After he had risen in his glory, he blessed the children just like me. I love to read the story. Mormon, and we take Moroni's challenge to pray in faith, believing in Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost can bear testimony to us that the Book of Mormon is true. And when we do those things, do you know what we are being? We are being what we believe. Let's sing our song. Living in this world with change all around, but with the prophet's words, I'll stand on solid ground, even though it's still hard, with questions that arise every day, I will Jacob, Enos, Jerem, Omni, Words of Mormon, and Mosiah. In the Book of Mormon, Alma, Helaman, Third, Fourth Nephi, Mormon, Ether, and Moroni learn the teachings of the prophets in the Book of Mormon. 
I have read the Book of Mormon 19 times. In fact, I just finished it again today. And I want you to know that I know that the Book of Mormon is true. It's history, it's stories, and it's gospel teachings are true. And that they were given to us as a gift from God to help us to live a happier life now and in the worlds to come. And I know that if we keep the commandments and honor the God of this land, who is Jesus Christ, he will bless us. I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas time and a Happy New Year.